This is flagpole project day one. So when irrigation comes in the pasture over here, it'll overflow up here just a little bit, but all it needs is a little bit. And it comes down here and it floods the driveway and it gets over into the planter here and it could get into the house. This house that used to be a garage, so it's kind of low. Um, so to fix that, this is Arizona. We have that caliche stuff. The dirt's harder than rock. So it doesn't soak in. What I did <coughs> with the help of my awesome neighbor and Bryson. Bryson's awesome too, but I got to give him crap. Always. That's what we do. Uh, we dug this trench. We got a trencher out here. Um, we dug down, oh, it's about 10 inches or so around the perimeter here. Uh, I laid this weed barrier down and then we filled it with river rock about three quarters full. Now, uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to get a tractor and I've got a bunch of dirt coming Thursday. With that tractor, I'm gonna move all this and we're gonna repair some of the irrigation uh, boundaries and stuff. So that'll work better. With the rest of that dirt, I'm gonna build up the mound kind of over here. That's a wet spot you can see. I'm soaking that so I can dig for the flagpole. So the flagpole is gonna sit there. We're gonna fold this weed barrier over once we get all the dirt settled fold the weed barrier over cover the whole thing with decorative stone and uh, then it'll just be driveway and then the same stone all the way through with a flag it's awesome i'd love to bury that uh, power line but i've got uh, two poles and i'd have to do this third as well just to get it off my property but that costs like 20 grand and I'm kind of cheap. So that's day one of the flagpole project. This drainage, the water now will come from this side over here when it floods and it'll just soak in here. I think we've got enough of a trench there to hold the majority of the water. It'll st still come out on the driveway sometimes, but uh, this will work out a lot better. All right, there's one load of dirt. I think I might definitely need more. So he's gonna back the truck up this next run and dump right here. Then we're gonna build the mound right there then just kinda berm this out both ways. So much fun. Got the cute little Kubota sitting there. This first load's nearly spread. The second load's ready. So here we go. Problem is we got those power lines. So he's gonna bring it way back. And that works out fine. This will be one giant pile of dirt. And they're bringing all the rock tomorrow morning, so it's gonna be a busy night. I'm just trying to find the honey spot so the truck doesn't tip over when he runs the dump. And there it is. He's doing me a favor, I guess, and taking it a little further that way. That works. Just hope I don't get the concrete cracked right there.
gonna be a lot of dirt. <laughs> Looks like he's right on those power lines. He is probably about eight to ten feet away from them. Still scary. Well, that's gonna be pretty sweet. I got some uh, spreading of dirt to do, so I'll get on that. All right, after a long day, there it is. The uh, digging stick is right there. That's where the flagpole's gonna go. I'm thinking maybe railroad ties make some steps going up to it, a little flat platform up there or something, I don't know. The rock's coming tomorrow. So we'll finish up more tomorrow. So they couldn't bring all the rock, all the uh, gravel pits apparently are closed today. It's the 3rd of July. So we'll see what we got. How long did it take you to get to do the dirt? Uh, just a couple hours. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The cleanup that sucks, you know? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. So fun. On the rug. <laughs> yes, it is. That'll keep me busy. Hmm. So they could only deliver 20 tons of rock because the quarry is closed today. That's unfortunate. That's all right. The airplanes come on Monday. I'll have the rest of the rock delivered probably Monday or Tuesday, I guess. I ought to make it Tuesday, I'll be busy Monday. Anyways, J&J Landscaping in Mesa, they're awesome. Okay, here's where we're at on the project. The Obviously we didn't get all the rock, that should be coming this next week. Got airplanes coming Monday, so that's exciting. This is where the electrical conduit is. It goes under the drive over to this uh, PVC cap. So I'm going to run some wire off of this 12 volt. I'm replacing these lights with a bunch. That damn rooster's laughing at me. Uh, with a bunch of new lights that all match and everything, but he thinks this is funny, apparently. I don't know if you can even hear that on this, but right here I'm going to make... <laughs> make some terrace steps up to the where the flagpole's gonna be in right here oh shit there's license who cares uh 
I'm going to turn these into the steps. So I'm going to go sharpen up the chainsaw and cut these. We like to keep it busy here in Arizona. It's going to be 111 today. So that's awesome. Hopefully he pulls forward. I don't think he's gonna. Very nice. Well, there's all our rock. He's gonna pull away, we're gonna finish unloading airplanes. All right, well there's a couple airplane wings, a couple airplanes, hippie van, rock that needs to be spread. We'll walk up these fancy steps. <clears throat> and I do think, oh, let's find level for this thing. I think we found our spot. We've got a lot more rock to spread, of course. But there's a little bit of big and all right, the hole's dug. So here's our inset. Basically, we're gonna set it in something like that, verify it's level and fill with concrete. So I gotta go buy a couple bags of concrete. I might buy three. That looks like about three bags of concrete. I plan on eventually doing a, a concrete border up here like make it a four foot square or something like that so three bags will be fine i could actually go two i'll probably do two bags right now we'll see shit i don't know anyways off to home depot okay went and picked up the cement all that stuff let me see i'm wearing gloves so i got a Manipulate the telephone with my nose, which is kind of awesome. All right, let's mix up this concrete before the telephone overheats.
Well, look at that. Proper mix right off the bat. Okay. So, that's gonna sit right there. I'm gonna dump the mud in and then level it up with the level there. <clears throat> Doing that with the shovel just gets all the air bubbles out. This is by far, by far the most difficult part. Okay, it's level. I'm gonna turn off the telephone, take it inside so it doesn't overheat. And uh, once that concrete, this is the flag that came with it. It's probably half the size of my other flag, but the pole can handle this one a lot better and the flag flies a lot better. It's awesome.